You guys, the weirdest thing just happened to me just now. Someone just tossed a package at my door and I open it up and it's just a bunch of My Flavor Falcon Smash along with a note. It's really, really weird, but let me read the note to you guys. So it says, Dear Larry, hope you're doing well. We changed your flavor of Falcon Smash in hopes that it will not only help you play well, but look good doing it. From Glitch. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what they changed about the formula, but you know, I made myself some, so let's try it out. It honestly tastes the same. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Oh my lord, what did they put in that, dude? Wait, what? What the f- If you want to try Glitch for yourself, all you have to do is go on GlitchEnergy.com and use my code LarryLair to get 25% off at checkout. So, I got the chance to book a lesson with Rickles, the player that many consider to be the best Ganondorf. And not only did my Ganon become significantly stronger from this lesson, <laughs> what the fuck? But I also took the title of best Ganon away from him. Make sure to watch the video if you want to see how I did it. And also, like the video if you enjoy this type of content, as well as subscribe, and tell me who you want to see me book a lesson with next. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lesson with Rickles. So the plan, you know, get the lesson from Rickles and then steal the title of best Ganon away from him. From that single lesson. That's the plan. Will I also be consuming Rickle's soul? Rickle's soul will be consumed. <laughs> on his Zenpai? Oh no. Nair one grab. I don't think that works. It works? I don't I don't I don't believe you. You know what? I'm gonna ask Rickles. He'll he'll know if it works. Warlock Crunch is strong in the air. Is that actually true? There's a lot of things you guys are saying that I don't believe, but I'm gonna ask Rickles because it just sounds Someone just sounds weird, like why would they do that to Ganon? Can we request lobby music? Actually, sure. Why not? What do you what do you what do you want? 25M? Sure. Why would you request this? You know what Zenyu said? Zenyu said that if there if, if if I had a theme song or like or whenever he plays me, this music play is, is playing in his head. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm I'm changing it. Oh shoot. Hello? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, thank you for uh, for doing this. Sure, man. Thank you for booking. This uh, this sounds really interesting for sure. Obviously, because, you know, you've been known for your competitive uh, gameplay a lot longer than I have, so. <laughs> mm. So, do, do you want to know, do you want to know the, the, the backstory as to why I booked this lesson? All right, so pretty much I was doing an Iron Man, you know, I was doing an Iron Man and just kept losing with Ganon. And my chat was like, <laughs> your Ganon sucks, Larry. And I was like, you know what? F that. I'm gonna change that right now by booking a lesson with Rickles and hopefully becoming the best Ganon. Awesome, well, uh, I'm here for it. I'm ready to show you what, what it's all about, you know? Like, I've been, I've been playing this character since Brawl, at least casually, like competitively in Smash 4, so. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely here for it. Usually what I do with, like, these Metafy sessions with first-time students is I open up with, like, a best of five and what would be the ditto, but, like, it, it, it you know, I, I guess we can start with, like, at least one game, you know? Just get a feel for things, see see what you know, because it's, like, you're still a character, you're still a player that is fundamentally strong, and Ganon is a very good fundamental-based character, so let's see what you can do. Okay. Um, question, does Nair 1 grab work? It does work, yeah. You okay. gotta face the Nair pretty well, though. Okay. Got it. Okay. Ooh. That air dodge was not a reflection of, of who I am as a person. I just want you to know that. <laughs> it's not. Hard to read on a jump. And I was safe. So. Oh. Oh, hello. No way, oh, I got I don't, robbed! I don't, I don't know how that works, but I'll take it. How did, oh. that, hit, how did that hit me? <laughs> how did that hit me? Give it to me straight, Rickles. Lots of stuff happened. 
Yeah, a, a, lot, a lot of stuff did happen. A lot, of, a lot of stuff happened, and I was on the receiving end of it. What I got a lot there in all three of those stocks were grabs. I think Gannon largely benefits off of his grab game. Like, that's a big reason why I love playing him. He can beat Shield in so many ways with his regular grab, his side B, and his up B. And, yeah, you got grabbed a lot. I got a lot of mileage off of it. You kind of missed an attack or two on the flame choke, and I just kind of took it to the bank, you know? Okay. Uh, question. Because um, this is something that I got a lot when I was playing as Ganon in my Iron Man. A lot of people in the chat were saying, just Nair. Do you think that just Nairing works? Uh, both in the Ditto and uh, like across a lot of matchups, Nairing is amazing. Nairing in place, retreating Nairs. Honestly, just Nair is great because like, uh, sometimes I'll play matchups where I'm only nairing until they're like at 80 or 90 and then I just up you them and I'm just like that's a stock and I, I'm satisfied I don't um, want it. I didn't I don't want to hear <laughs> I didn't want to hear that my chat was right but okay I, I guess it's tricky because then when you're faced up against somebody of like an equal seed or higher seed or equal level skill level or a higher skill level like what are you actually gonna do and yeah, obviously a lot of my game plan is to, like to not get hit and to get my combo starters which is getting my grab my down airs my dash attacks my nares because nair can be a combo starter if you get late or, or like i guess nair two you can combo it into like down tilt into jab uh into sometimes you go for dash attack or whiz kick so nair is just one of ganon's like strongest combo starters aside from his of course his grabbing his flame choke so it's not a bad option okay got it all right, so how do I do what you did to me, to other people? Uh, it's, it's very interesting, I gotta say, just to become the actual best, because, like, people say, Rickles, you're the best Ganondorf in the world. It's like it's on YouTube, of course. Like, I play against Leo, I play against Tweak, uh, and a lot of the best players in the world. So, like, how how do I play? And I play very momentum-based, because, like, people will say Ganon is the worst character in the game. Does he have any winning matchups? I don't know. I personally think he has a lot of even matchups and even some winning matchups, but, like, even in that way, it's like because there's like maybe like 70 like even or losing matchups. Like if, if he's losing to that many characters in the game, Ganon largely relies on momentum and like uh, pacing. I, I'd rather like say as Ganondorf. So as a Ganondorf player, you need to control the pace of the game or you will lose. Like if you play a losing matchup, if you play at your opponent's pace, you're going to lose. So how do you manage the pace? You basically got to like almost kind of like suffocate them, but also while trying to respect their bubble of not getting hit. Like if I'm fighting you for real, like I'm fighting your Falco, I'm going to try to get avoid up tilt or grab. Like that's your mm -hmm. bubble. That's the thing I want to like avoid. Okay, so out of curiosity, who do you think Ganon or wins against? I'm going to say Dr. Mario. I think that's one of the characters that Ganon beats. So I, I made a matchup chart in like the 10.0 patch, so that was like two years ago, it feels like. Oh, wow. Point. Okay. Uh, uh, I haven't done a recent matchup chart. I'm overdue. But I do like kind of feel like he beats three characters, and he could beat three characters. So it's like uh, like winning, and then like slight win, and then a slew of relevant even matchups. So like in terms of winning, I put King K. Rule, Kirby, and Marth. After I did that, though, all three of them got buffed, but I still think that they're all, like, pretty similar still, so... Um, I actually was at, uh... I was at, uh, Genesis, and I played Ignace for a while, I told them Ganondorf beats Marth, and then he proceeded to, to, to poopy on me for the next few games. But then I started figuring him out, and okay. then we started going back and forth after that, so I felt a lot better. Well, I just like told him that going into that, and he is very respectful of it too. He didn't laugh. He was like, "All right, let's let's see what happens." <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I still I, K rule is probably his best matchup. I, I actually can fight K rule all day. It's it's phenomenal. Like if K rule has to up recover, Ganon can intercept it with his up B, like consistently. Captain Falcon does the same thing. So okay, uh, and if he gets an opening, it's it's really crazy. Doctor Mario. Uh, on my matchup chart in 10.0, I actually put he loses the, the matchup. Again, I guess that's after my experience fighting like Louis Money and other Dr. Marios, but I could actually still see that Ganondorf could possibly win that matchup. Uh, maybe I could get better at it, but I think I think it's very possible Ganon could beat Dr. Mario. Okay. Why Kirby? Can't Kirby just crouch uh, under your stuff and up tilt you? He can't crouch side B. And then once you get a side B and you a read on Kirby, you're probably getting him with 30 or 40%. You get two side Bs on him, that's a stock. If you can avoid the dare edge guards. Uh, Ganon can solidly outrange Kirby. But yeah, he, he can duck a lot of stuff, but 
like he's still like such a little fragile guy. I got I got nothing else to, to ask. I think I'm down to play another match. I feel like I've I've absorbed the uh, the uh, open you've given me, and <laughs> I think I've gotten stronger from it. Dab is so good in close quarter situations. Yeah. I think Ganon can actually beat that in the ditto if he uh, does turn around up B or like he has control of up B. That's good. Mm -hmm. I air dodge up in that position so I can buy myself more time. Mm, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're dead. What? How? I rolled yeah, away! That, so, <laughs> on some characters' roll away from air choke, he could actually get a guaranteed down smash. That includes relevant characters like Peach, Charizard, Incineroar. It's less, I guess, less relevant, but. Uh, and also in the ditto. So, yeah, that's pretty funny. I mean, if Sky does have the tournament, not, Incineroar is definitely relevant. I missed. Uh, I was going for a shield break. You see, I did a near spot dodge into charging up smash. Oh, that broke break. my shield? Yes, I was 100%. Oh, hello. In that position, a guaranteed whiz kick will cover tech roll away. And I think it might have killed me because I'm already holding away. Hmm, okay. Don't roll away. Oh my god, why does that work? <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I do it in all my lessons with Ganondorf players, and surprisingly enough, you would think it'd be a lot, but like, it's actually a low percentage of my lessons to actual Ganondorf players. I give a lot of lessons to non Ganondorf players too. Mm -hmm. You're like the most common non Ganondorf person that I would coach are like Ike, Ike mains. Really? I wonder why. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, it's not even that common either. I've probably had like three or four Ike mains. I've still probably had had like 10 or 20 Ganon players, which, but it's still like 30 or 40% of my lessons is Ganon players. Most of my lessons could be like anybody else. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, I did 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 better. I, I took the Nair advice. Been tr I was trying to grab more. That aerial flame choke to down smash, it's ridiculous. Yeah, air, air choke is untackable, and you kind of have to make a hard commitment on where they're going to be. So I make a commitment in which if I miss, I'm probably still safe, you know? And down smash is kind of like okay to do. There, I'm not probably not going to die for it. And then for the grounded choke, uh, you did miss uh, like a tech or two in the first game. Uh, but like if you get grounded choke on characters, you can get those like pretty like awesome scenarios. Okay. What do you think is like the, the best option to do out of grounded flame choke if you if you know the opponent's going to pick a tech option? Uh, so it's largely dependent on positioning and also the character's tech roll because some characters have better tech rolls than others. But like, I'd say one of the better options for sure is like if you get side B down B because like it covers tech roll away or just if they do nothing and stay in place, I think that's really good. But sometimes positioning could matter because like sometimes you could have them cornered. So you could hit like side B down tilt or side B forward tilt if you have them in the corner. So at that point it could be like a 75-25 situation. So it's like, uh, I've done it enough on so many characters where I'm like, I've been here before. I can hit this if I get them in the corner or something like that. If I get from center stage, they're more likely to roll away. It, it, the more you do it, the more like often you be put in that situation. Uh, I think a character, some characters are pretty relevant with their, their tech rolls are like uh, Fox, Falco, Palutena, Zelda. If I hit them with side B, down B, I can miss because they can tech roll away and shield before I can actually hit them. Maybe less so Fox, Falco, but Palutena, like, I actually lost the tournament set because I read them. I'm like, you will tech roll away, and they did. But their tech roll was so good that the shield didn't punish me. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, there's, there's like, so, there's. It, it just sounds like you have to know so many defensive options against characters as, as Ganon. Oh yeah, yeah. So in Smash Ultimate, they made teching a lot easier than Smash Four. Like the window is a lot easier. Because I think it was like a two-frame window in Smash 4. So back then, I would win entire tournament sets off of people not taking flame chokes. I, I could do the, I could do side B down tilt or side B forward tilt the entire set and literally win. That's why I won the Smash 4 Arcadian with like 125 entrants. I'm like, wow, people really suck at teching in this game. But in Ultimate, they made teching a lot easier across the board, whether it's stage spikes or Ganon's flame choke, where people could just buffer the tech. But they also made Ganon's first active frame better off of that move, so it makes it easier to read people. So it's like a, a trade-off where it's just like now i feel like a better player because i'm reading them like almost all the time mm -hmm. versus like me just getting free damage or free stocks because they can't tech yeah that makes sense
yeah, this is a matchup where I'm always like, like, why? Because like, it's an even matchup, you know. And then all it takes yeah. is a good player with good fundies to beat me. I definitely have lost a ditto before, but then I'm just like, hey guys, maybe your favorite top player has lost a ditto too. Doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hello. That was a vacuum hitbox. That, that was a misinput. Yeah. Do I, I? I actually hate mirror matches in ultimate. <laughs> so I, I, I completely feel feel you. Yeah, I don't think Sai V Flame Choke will ever work unless I just wait. Oh, I'm oh, dead. That Did not parry that. Oh, I'll try to parry. Sometimes that works. Oh my god. Uh, so my mindset, when it comes down to pacing, where it's just like, I can't let you have a lead for too long, so I do my absolute best to equalize it as soon as I can, you know? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, almost got you. Oh, I would die, huh? Yep. I uh, called out the lingering Ganon inside, and it usually wins in that situation, so I guess I might have mistimed it. Mm -hmm. I would have broken broke shield. my shield. Yeah, that would have been game two. I mean, oh my. If, if Ganon breaks your shield at zero, you're dead, right? There's not anything you can do, I'm assuming. Most characters are dead at zero, but actually, I do have a more optimal punish at zero for the characters it doesn't kill, too. What's, what's the optimal punish? So if I kill a character, uh, sorry, if I break a character's shield at 0%, and it's like, say, like Ryu or like Ness or like a bigger body or like a stage like Kalos, instead of doing reverse Warlock Punch, which by the way, Aerial Reverse Warlock Punch is even stronger than Reverse Warlock Punch. And reverse Warlock Punch is stronger than regular Warlock Punch. Like, you should never Warlock Punch on a shield break, ever. You should always Reverse Warlock Punch. And then even though Reverse Warlock Punch is significantly stronger, Aerial Warlock Punch is way stronger. The even more optimal punish, by the way, though, uh, besides that stupid fun fact, because I saw your stream ask for it before I joined the call, uh, is uh, what I do is I do down air into grab, into down throw, into nair, and then into forward air. The forward, the last forward air obviously isn't true, and then the, 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 the down air grab probably isn't true all the time either. Mm -hmm. But if you get most of that string up until the forward air, you get 53%, and if you hit the forward air, it's a zero to death. So, uh, even if you don't hit the forward air, it's still more damage than a reverse warlock punch from zero, okay. which is amazing. But if you hit the forward air, it's a zero to death. Okay, wow. That's that's crazy. <laughs> How often do you hit the forward air? I've only gotten it twice. I hit it on an S and I hit it on a Ryu. I'm actually working on a YouTube video about that because it's just like, oh my god, an option better than reverse warlock punch, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on some characters, you yes, they will die at zero. I killed a Krom at 1%. I killed a Joker at 7% off a of shield break. And I, I'm sure I could have killed the Joker even sooner, you know? That's crazy. I'm, oh no. I'm bad. It's fine. This is your journey to be the best. This is still early. You're, you're, you're right. You know what? Thank you. I need to hear that. Oh, baby. <sighs> wow. I feel like in that situation, I just go out and fair you. Then if the fair misses, I just up fair you. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's special too. You can poke pretty deep through the yeah, stage. Yeah, I was like, how did that <laughs> touch me? I covered one option there, and if I got that option, I would have won. <laughs> oh, because the the roll the roll latch would have just been like, on the max yep. turn choke. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Like that. Yeah, that's the lingering Gan inside. So what it is is like, if I space it against the stage, it keeps the grab box in one spot. So. Like it'll be like it'll wait out like I like, it'll wait out iframes, it'll wait out people holding the ledge, it'll wait out get up attack. So lingering Ganon inside I've been doing that since Smash 4. I rarely see any other Ganons do it, but it's an amazing option if you have the stock lead. Okay. And I I'm assuming like against Ganon, like he literally just dies. Like he can't come back, even if I were to mash out. No, you could get back if you mash out. I seen Dr. Mario's come back from that. That's crazy. Really? <laughs> Yeah, a good thing about that lingering Ganon side on standard getup, usually it it's it's in a, a timing where it catches them off guard, so they're probably not going to mash. And also on yeah. Smashville, because the, the bottom blast zone is closer, they have less time to as they would on this stage or regular battlefield, you know? Okay. Oh, oh my god. All right. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> I, like, what the heck? Let's go. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I love that. Nair into grab. I almost got to follow up the re-grab. 
I'll do it. Okay, get it. <laughs> I learned. Uh, that's a missed landing. Let's go. You're dead. What? That reversed? <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Dude, that Tidman was that was nuts. Like the hitbox, I just wasn't expecting it to reverse there. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I was uh, kind of shocked at how good it worked for me there. It's like, wow, you actually lost your jump and it sent you at the awful angle. That's great. Yeah. All right. But I'm, I'm learning stuff. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in that position, I often say, uh, if you're comfortable enough with your character's recovery, you should be looking at my, your opponent and not yourself. Yeah. Because then, like, the moment that my, the pixel of my character leaves the stage, you can prepare your uh, recovery. Because Ganon does actually have some decent options uh, if he's looking at his opponent when he's recovering. Okay, gotcha. Also, don't ask about that so the reverse up tilt. There's a line there. <laughs> I swear I get him attacked when you grab the ledge. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm learning more about Ganon. My Ganon's getting it's getting better, and then and then I just get I just get hit with the case of the Rickles, the incurable illness. Like they get hit by the Rickles, and you know it's, before they know it, it's too late. It's not, and there's, there's no known like fix, like no known cure for it. Yeah, once it <laughs> once <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> once it enters your bloodstream, man, that's it. No, sir. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Dang well, it. I go for those risks a lot more off stage with the lead. I, I usually tell anybody who I'm t giving a lesson to, don't go off stage 95% of the time, but in the situations that you can, do it as a mix up or do it with a lead. Yeah, no, that makes sense. You know, you want to you want to get the uh, the maximum payoff you can. And if you want to like expand your lead, it makes the most sense. No. Well, that sucks. I'm, I'm alive, right? No, I'm not. You already knew. You didn't <laughs> even humor, humor the idea that I was. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that combos? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, uh, down, down air is Ganon's best combo starter because he can usually net a second hit, and he's usually going to get 40% each time. Okay. At, at least, at minimum. So I say spamming down air is pretty optimal. No. Uh, hello. Okay, I need to... I, I swear I could tech. I, I swear I could wall tech. I've done it before. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of nasty stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think? So when are you gonna bust out this bad boy and break it? I I don't know, you know. Might be uh, my next event. Might be in a, in, the, in a year. Might be never. We gotta see you take that title with us again. <laughs> it's, not, it's not looking too good so far though. Oh, here we go though. It's not looking oh. good. It's not looking good so far. I, I swear you're gonna just regularly get up or something. See, I told you I could tech. I could tech. I know how to tech. Yeah, there's it. Ooh. Got a little good mileage off that stock, though. And Ganon actually has a lot of control over that. I can decide whether or not I want to stay on stage or go off stage. Pretty good. Yeah, my, my opponent has zero control of that at all times. Wow, that's, that's kind of messed up. Except for, the, it's, except for the mash, I guess. They can still mash out yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's that's true. I always I always forget I can mash out of it. I also get I I, I like get hit by my like I, I kind of gasp inside, you know? I'm like wow, I got got I got got. I think the moment that you hit that nair, you could have got me with a grab. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, if you if you get the momentum for it, you can definitely get it. Oh, if platform wasn't there, that would have comboed. Oh. <laughs> no, can I not grab that? Uh, uh, you can. You can get a lot. Of, ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> this could be the game right this, here. <laughs> this, 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 this could be it. Oh god, yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit after the air dodge. No! Let's go. Yeah.
Uh, I'm dead. Wow. Snuck underneath. Yeah, I didn't think. I, after you did the side bit, I thought I was gonna grab again. Uh, that's a, that's something that I learned from Zenodo. You know, he did a video. He, he talked about like it's not what you do at ledge, but when you do it. And I think that's where a lot of Ganon players or just general players can improve their fundamentals. You know, they can just like mix up their timings when they get off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, true. To anyone out there that books me on Metafy, if, if you're a Ganon player or not, I usually open the set with a best of five where I don't really say a whole lot because, like, it takes more than one game to dissect strengths and weaknesses. So I use that best of five to, like, understand you as a player. And then from there, we can talk about, like, mindset, movement, decision making, and a lot of important stuff where, it's, you know, it's like, because I'm usually against the odds where I have to fight these, like, losing matchups, you know? Bro, teach me how to do that. I keep, I keep trying, but it's not working. You... Oh, baby. <laughs> no. No! Okay. Alright, we're back. Oh, I didn't turn it around. I could've got it turned around. Uh, yes! <laughs> I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. Hello. I heard the whole up tilt. <laughs> I don't know if you did. Yeah, 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 I heard it. I keep... I was trying to jump up here there. Oh, this is it. I'm dead for sure. Oh, let's go! <sighs> Please! Yes. <laughs> no way! Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that this is a character you gotta put more hours into, man. You're saying I can't just, like, pick him up and then, you know, just, just start winning? I can't... He doesn't have, like, a Falco up tilt or something, you know? He doesn't have that? No, I mean, if, if you really want to be this degenerate as me, spam down throw, spam down air, spam there. Like, you have to really be, like, shameless about it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I could definitely be sh be shameless with my gameplay. Have you seen my Smash 4 DK? Yes, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... I feel like Void isn't happy about that character of yours. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. I've definitely robbed him many a times. He's probably still my friend, honestly. <laughs> I remember you guys had like the biggest like Smash 4 rivalry. Oh uh, uh, no, I missed. you got the good DI. Uh, you guys were like 17 and 17 in sets, like pretty, in, like the middle, and then you guys played a lot more after that too. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were always go even in sets and, and four. We always had like super close sets. Oh, nice coverage. Thanks. Ooh. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> no. That works for so long. You're yep, kidding me. Go. I see this shameless nares, and they're, they're working. Yeah. See, as soon as you said shameless, it just all clicked. It's just everything. It all made sense. Oh, I had no jump. No. Just waste your iframes. I'm gonna do that to you. No! No! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no! Have you ever gotten hit by that? I try, I try not to, since I'm used to my, my own stuff. I, I don't think I do. I don't yeah. think I... At most, I'll get hit by double whiz kick, you know? Yeah. But never get hit by the legendary triple whiz kick. I've, I've hit a lot of people with that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, w I wouldn't... You know, the double whiz kick fair, I definitely wouldn't recommend getting hit by. It just it doesn't feel good. I feel like a part of me was just removed. Yeah, like, like I said, I play with a lot of momentum. I, I, I care a lot about pacing, because if I, if I succeed, you know, I, I win. Um, in those matchups where they're losing matchups, I usually say, like, in those really terrible matchups, like, I have to play 300% correct to stand a chance, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I have to hit every flame choke follow up and hit every, like, two piece combo. Because Ganon doesn't really have three pieces. Like, he's kind of got to, like, connect the two pieces together, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's off smash. That sucks. Oh, <laughs> uh, my shield! Man. Yeah. Oh, he's simple up smash. Good timing. Nope. <laughs> I didn't make him get him! That sucks. <laughs> I, was, I like... I didn't even drop from the ledge! You! <laughs> that was the most I shameless have. thing I've seen you do. Oh, I should've been force smash. I'm... Oh, you win. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! You waited for a long time. That was a good recovery. Uh, I wanted the upbeat grab you. Yeah, I could see the red. I could see the red in your eyes, the blood in the water. I, I, you just want it to continue to hurt me. Yeah. Just, I, I feel like that would have worked on game one, Larry, but not game 13, Larry. Yeah, I know. Game, game 13, Larry, is, is a new man. It's my job to not get edgeguarded, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. 
Like, people will tell them, like, just edge guard Ganon, and, like, against most Ganons, it's, it's going to work, but, you know, like, I, I've seen other, like, professional Ganons talk about the first thing you should work on is your recovery, and it's true. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I would not hit you yet. Alright, it's even. It's even? I don't, I don't like oh, how yeah. you said that. I don't like how you said that at all. Because you're right. Oh, my... Well, I would have died when I... If he directly air dodged in, I would have definitely edge guarded you after the forward smash. That combo. I love that. That that was <laughs> disgusting. I'm glad that it worked at that low percent. Usually I go for it when it kills, but like that still positioned me and gave me the room to like go out there and put my body out there, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 bad. Okay, I, I think I get, I think we get into here. So I guess, what do you think is the most important thing I should work on as as a uh, as a Ganon player? Definitely the grab game. Definitely the recoveries because I was exploiting them largely. Like I said, the, the number one thing Ganon players are, are, are going to want to tell you is like work on your recoveries. So obviously, the longer you stay alive, the more opportunities you get to open up your opponent. And then opening up your opponent again, shameless grabs, shameless combo starters like down air and air. Uh, I, I spam the crap out of down air. I think it's this best move it's so beautiful that you can like net 40 percent each opening like you get two down air openings a one two a one two and then they're at kill percent you can get like down throw fair down throw bear uh like edge guard and stuff like that so yeah um shameless combo starters to like hit that top echelon and uh, obviously the really good recoveries okay one last question can, can i can i borrow the title of best ganon for like a day yeah yeah you got it it's yours thank you um yeah i i yeah i appreciate it I, I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, honestly, like we just talked about it, man. Like game thirteen, Larry. He's a different Larry. That's it, you know. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, well, I got nothing else to say except I'm not giving you that title back. Bye. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We're the best Ganon. The king of evil prevails. Oh, Rickles is in here. Um, so, someone someone ban him. <laughs>